안녕하세요, 저는 오키입니다, and welcome to today's video where we are going to be reacting to some more weekly. And today we have got Vroom Vroom. Bro, I have not heard teasers for this, but I'm fucking excited. I'm excited because fucking finally. I, oh, I, yeah, look, finally. I'm, I, realistically, at this point, I just, I kind of treated this comeback like a YG comeback. I was like, look, I'll believe it. I'll believe it when it's here. You know, that's sad. Isn't that crazy sad? Like, literally, I've reduced, like, a weekly comeback to just a Blackpink comeback. Like, that level of, like, a lack of anticipation. I'm like, look, I'll fucking believe it when I see it, right? Everyone's like, oh, weekly, you're coming back. And I'm like, yeah, okay. We'll wait until the comeback's here. We'll wait until the MV's dropped. And it's here, all right? So, look, we better hurry the fuck up and watch it before somehow it disappears into the void. Because who knows what is going on over at IST. But either way... I'm excited to listen to this and the album. The album will be over on Patreon, as with the rest of Weekly's discography as well, too. So go and check that out. And uh, yeah, man, dude, after Vampata, it's been a bit. It's been a fucking minute. They've done a lot of shit. We've obviously got Queen and Puzzle as well, too, over here as well. So go and check that out. But either way, massive old like, full screen, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. What are we coming back with, man? Welcome back. Dude, Monday with red hair. Sheesh. Okay. All right, it's just an intro. Right. Time to be brave. Can I say, I will not pause for the rest of this video, but can I say, Zoa, bro Zoa, her voice, when she sings now like this, I don't know what's happened. But look, I am grateful for the time that we have taken, the time that has been spent, because Jesus Christ, man, that like the the way that the vocals have matured, not only just with her, but the entire group, insane. Anyway. Time to be brave. My God, Sujin, I'm on two knees. Owen with the fluidity, Flu fluidity, fluidity. She went. Main dancer teams, bro. Okay. Okay. Don't say eyes on me. Okay, damn, bro. Oh, the, what in the sister is this choreo, bro? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Pain. Pain is all I know. I said I wouldn't pause. Why is Joa making me pause? Why are you doing this? <laughs> what were you doing in the back? Were you were you literally eating the lip? What's going on, bro? Like, relax. We don't need any of that. Hang on. Look! Look! Like, look! I have nothing. What are we doing? <laughs> Let's all take a step back. Let's all take a step back and relax. Alright? Pain or no pain, right? Just chill. <laughs> This is supposed to be vibey. Aggressive. The wink to to complete it. Damn. Man, their voices have changed so much in the best way. Like they've really escaped. They've really escaped the cute concept, man. Brum, brum. Mm. Brum, brum. Yeah, nah. It's a banger, bro. Okay. 
Dude, the hair is crazy, man. The split toned hair on tour. Monday is on demon timing. Okay! Ah, shit! Dude, the way Jihan just like hopped into that. Boom, boom. Sujin, you're killing me. Relax. Relax. You know, there's uh, hmm, there's a lot. I guess I gotta say. I'll get to the music and I'll get to the song and stuff in it in, in a bit. You know, I I feel complicated emotions about this weekly comeback, but overall, it is extremely positive. The reason I feel complicated emotions is because I really hope that people remember that they have a comeback today. And that people actually give attention to this song. We know that hiatuses um, can sometimes like kill groups and that they can be pretty deadly. And before anyone jumps on my ass and is like, oh, but Weekly have been active, they've been doing this. And I know that we've had members in that um, that show that Ryan June was working on, the, the producer one or whatever the fuck it was. I never watched that. But I did hear the Weekly songs, which is cool. Um, I know that we've had them on Girls Reverse as well, too. I know that we've had them on Queen to Puzzle. Like, yeah, that's all great. But music is music, right? And people people are also here for music. So I did kind of think that maybe we were starting to reach, like, pretty dangerous territory, considering the fact that, like, weekly... How many Rookie of the Year awards was it did, the, did they win in, in, in 2020? Was it six? Was it six that they were on or some shit like that? Like, they went crazy, yeah, the special single, right? That once again didn't really get that much. I I feel like they were they were really moving, right? Obviously, like the K-pop landscape, the industry, the landscape since they debuted in twenty twenty, since you know mid COVID, has changed a lot. So it's become a lot more complicated. It's become a lot more competitive, and surprisingly, what you would think in that type of circumstance is that maybe weekly would be back more frequently. Problem is, is of course, you know, we had stuff happen um, with, uh, you know, members switching out and stuff like that as well, too. They went on a hiatus because IST was still just getting their shit together. Of course, now being part of a bigger, more consolidated company and all of that type of <laughs> more consolidated, you know, all of that type of stuff with multiple different priorities, such as other groups under them and all of that type of stuff. Naturally, this type of thing isn't that surprising like weekly going on a longer hiatus isn't surprising but what i really genuinely hope and that is my first initial impression from this song and just based on how much i love weekly and their music already i really do hope that people actually give this the attention and the recognition that it deserves because for me personally this is everything i think that they wanted venpara to be now don't get me wrong venpara i feel like has its own kind of like, you know, its own kind of like appeal. I see, I see what people want. When was Venpata even, bro? Like, wasn't this like 2021? Let me check. Wasn't this like 2021? When was this even? Let me, let me bring it up real quick. Weekly, when was this? 2022, so this was early. Yeah, March 7th, 2022. Like, that was the last time they came back with an album. <laughs> you know? Solar, brilliant song. Absolutely insane, right? You know? Producers on that even commented on the video that we did on it as well, too. They're incredible, right? It was written perfectly. I feel like that was an awesome freaking song from them. But it's just one of those types of things where I feel like this is everything that IST perhaps wanted Van Parra to be. In as much as it's a breakaway from their previous concept that they debuted with 
and more of a more uh, more of a move towards I guess they, I guess you could say a, a much more matured sound, or I guess you could say like a much more holistic sound, right? Something that they can carry on for quite some time. You know, the cuter earlier stuff. I'm not gonna say it's just cute because it's not, right? Like there was there was a lot more than just cute vibes. But I really do feel like they tapped into the youthfulness of the group when they first debuted. Not only just with like their debut and their their first two comebacks and stuff like that. Like you know with um, after school and of course zigzag and stuff like that but really it's a matter of like oh, how long would that last in the current climate you know moving forward and so i do think that moving away from that was a good idea and is was and is good for weekly but i feel like vroom vroom is so well done in terms of the way that they wanted to execute it that maybe maybe vroom vroom even might not have hit back when they released vampata maybe Maybe this is just how things had to play out, honestly. You know? Maybe they needed that time. And this is like kind of like their restart. Like their reset. At least in my mind, personally. Because I feel like this is going to be very palatable for a lot of people. You know? It's no after school in as much as I don't think that anything so far released by Weekly since after school has been as like addictive to me as after school like i feel like after school is one of those songs that's like the the one in every couple of hundred thousand songs where you're just like what the fuck <laughs> like holy shit this song bangs like you know that type of vibe but i do really feel that vroom vroom is so solid purely just in terms of showing one how they've grown but two like the vibes are just immaculate you know i feel like this type of sound is always going to be relevant for me personally and if it's relevant for me personally then i'm sure it's going to be relevant for other people so it's going to be easy to listen to it's not steeped in um you know how can i put it concepts are essentially just themes right like different themes that you can bring to a group and this song isn't really steeped in like a certain theme it's not a theme based on like age or youth or coming of age or girl crush or something like that it's just vibes and i really like that i think that for that reason alone it's definitely a playlister for me on top of that though their vocals fucking pop off man they sound great they look great and i can't wait to see the stage for this i think the stage is gonna be lit right if they wanted to test out a new sound then i don't know why they chose a full cb album for it instead of a special release right yeah either way I think this hits, man. Um, it's crazy. I, I, I'm just really glad to have them back. And I, I've had, I feel like, so many things that I wanted to say about Weekly for a really long time. And for those of you guys that like follow the other socials like Twitter and stuff like that, you'll know that I've talked before where I've been like, yo, <laughs> yo, like, where the fuck are Weekly? <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck are Weekly? Where the fuck are Everglow? Where the fuck are Cherry Bullet? And, you know, this is because we enjoy these groups. I genuinely enjoy their music, but... I really do hope that going forward, Weekly get more regular comes ba comebacks and that I, I hope that people pay attention to this. And I hope that even through this reaction video, I don't know, maybe more people are like, oh, Weekly dropped something today. I, I just fucking hope. I can't wait to listen to the album. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Can't wait to talk about it with you more. And we will be doing the live stage reaction probably sometime either at the end of this month or next month over on the Patreon too, because we do come back live stage marathons, at least starting November, starting starting this month as well too. So I can't wait to watch that with you guys. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below, as always. Um, apologies for the, the, uh, the really long, you know, rant slash thoughts review. Uh, the song, I feel like it's, it's if it's weekly, it's probably never going to miss, you know. Venpata is just like one of those things for me. I know as well too, Venpata has a lot of defenders. You don't need to like everything that a group releases, but I know that some people like genuinely, you know, really enjoyed that. And I, I can accept that. I, I do feel like it's got its own, you know, its own group of people who are really about that. A lot of people probably hold on to that for like what it meant and like who the members were who participated as part of that as well too. Um, but personally, yeah, I just really think that Weekly are... Weekly are they're, they're moving it, I think, in a really good direction with this type of sound. And I, I can't wait to hear more of it, especially with the B-sides. So until then, take care, stay safe, love and appreciate you guys as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.